What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Blue Blood Sports TV, back at y'all with another one. So, it looks like they're trying to set up a massive rematch between Terrence Crawford and Earl the Truth Spence Jr. And everybody keeps asking me, is this the road that they're going down? And it's very quite possible that that's what they're looking to do. Since the first fight, it underperformed as far as the business goes. Uh, it reportedly did about 750,000 pay-per-view buys in the biggest fight in the last decade, the most anticipated fight in the last decade, and an undisputed show to him. And a lot of this uh, was due to the fact of the unknown with Errol the True Spence Jr. seeing as though Errol Spence had a lot going on outside the ring. He suffered a lot of trauma outside the ring. Errol Spence suffered a horrific car accident. Uh, he suffered the broken or detached retina. Then he had, obviously, long layoffs in the ring, right? Prior to Errol Spence's car accident, when he fought against Sean Porter, Errol Spence was a bigger deal than Javante Tank Davis. He was the big draw. He wasn't nicknamed the Big Fish for no reason. His lowest pay-per-view was 315000 That was with Danny Garcia. Javante Tank Davis, before he fought Ryan Garcia, his biggest pay-per-view was 250000 which was Rolando Roley Romero fight. Then obviously he had the mega fight with uh, Ryan Garcia, who Ryan Garcia carried a lot of weight going into the fight. And it did 1.2 million pay-per-views with a $23 million gate. But again, the man was Errol the Truth Spence Jr. And then the unknown happened, the car accident, uh, the eye injuries, the layoffs, it just hindered uh, the belief in Errol Spence, right? And so Terrence Crawford has a lot of, for whatever reason, people just don't buy into Terrence Crawford and he's the best fighter in the world, right? Whether it's lack of promotion on the part of top rank or Terrence Crawford just not trusting the media and trusting, you know, uh, he just don't believe in it, right? So by their meth by their standards it underperformed and so then on top of that the way the fight itself played out for undisputed showdown in a mega fight and terence crawford dominating completely one-sided and battering errol spence and then stopping him they had an immediate rematch clause and it just seemed like they didn't want to lose the money to also, top it off, Showtime got out the business of the sport of boxing in 37 years. So that played a part as well. So with that said, now um, they have to find a way to rebuild it. And now there's talks that Errol Spence is gonna fight Sebastian Fondora October 19th uh, in Dallas in AT&T Stadium where he He's a major draw there. He sells. He sold out with Danny Garcia, Mikey Garcia there, uh, your Dana Sugis. He's just, let's be real, he's a draw there. Uh, and so this Sebastian Fondora, the Tower in the Ferdo, six foot six, uh, 154 pounder, who, you know, uh, to many is a sideshow, right? He can fight, but obviously the casuals, it's like, this dude is extremely lengthy, uh, tall, no ditty, you know, uh, and he's on. Uh, and he's Mexican, right? Pardon me, people. And he's Mexican, right? So obviously Texas have a huge Mexican fan base and following. So this fight should sell. Terrence Crawford is fighting Israel Madrimov uh, August 3rd, which is now gonna be a unification. It's gonna be for the vacant WBO title uh, and the WBA uh, title. Now, it depends because the WBO gave Sebastian Fandara ultimatum, told him he had to fight Terrence Crawford for Israel Majumov. That fight is for the WBO interim title. And if he didn't, they would be elevated to the super champion. Now, what they can do is uh, just state, okay, well, guess what? You fight Errol Spence, then the winner is ordered to fight Terrence Crawford. So that would be a great idea, right? So. 
But now Errol Spence is stating that he could possibly retire after this fight. And he stated that peace of mind is more important than anything. And hinted, hinting at that he's getting tired of this sport of boxing. Uh, and just, you know, uh, um, negativity in his totality. So he's hinting at retiring. But that would be a huge, if he beats Sebastian Fandara and they allow him to keep the WBC and WBO title, now he fights Terrence Crawford, beats Israel Majumov, and he's the WBA champion, and it's a unification bout again, then it speaks volumes, then it can sell again, because now you can sell it that Errol Spence got a win under his belt. Uh, he, the fight is at 154. He had the corrective eye surgery. He's not gonna be weight drained. Now you can sell the fight. So I like the idea either which way, right? I ra I'd rather see a rematch with Terrence Crawford and Errol Spence than Terrence Crawford fighting Sebastian Fandora anyway. So let's see how this unfolds and plays out, man. But uh, that's all I got for y'all. Make sure you hit the like button, drop a comment in the comment section. Let me know what y'all think. Y'all already know what it is. It's your boy Blue, Blue Blood Sports TV. Hate, like, comment, and subscribe. If you haven't subscribed, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, hit the bell icon to get all the new notifications. Follow me on Instagram at Blue Blood Sports TV, all one word. That's all I got for y'all. I'm gone. Peace.